What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we finished up everything else, I mean, aside from the Golden Strawberries, but uh, we finished up the Seaside from Chapter 8, which was really quite difficult, but definitely a fun level. We learned a little bit of advanced tech, and in this episode, we're going to finally start Chapter 9, which many of you have let me know is the longest and the hardest chapter in the, the game. Some of you mentioned that some of the most difficult rooms of the game we've already cleared, but... But apparently this chapter is really difficult, it apparently really pushes you to utilize the mechanics of the game, probably beyond what was even initially intended, uh, more in line with something a speedrunner would use. So, I'm intrigued to see if we'll actually figure those things out, or if they'll be, you know, taught to us. Um, if not, I was told I may even need to look up some videos or guides on advanced Celeste movement, just so that I have the resources available to make it through these levels, but... Either way, I'm very excited. Apparently, the story is incredible as well, so got a lot to look forward to. It's chapter 9. Farewell. Okay, so we're up here. We're by this tree. I remember this is the end of the chapter 7 seaside, I believe. Whoa! Holy cow! And so with one bit of lightning... Sakura tree is gone, the clouds are gone, and the old lady has passed away, it seems. Granny, I can't believe you're gone, you old bat. Well, I guess I can. It sounded like you were saying goodbye in the last letter you sent me. This isn't fair. I need you. Oh, this is so sad. You didn't prepare me for any of this. What do you want her to do, apologize? She's gone. And you didn't even go to the funeral. I know, I just couldn't. I fell apart. I'm so sorry, Granny. Sorry you won't bring her back. You're right. It was selfish of me to come here. Just because something serves you doesn't necessarily mean it's you know selfish of you to do it. But, alright, it looks like we've got quite a bit. It seems like some time has passed since, you know, the end of Chapter 7C. And I'm curious as to what that letter said. Uh, I, I feel like that's something we actually maybe even had access to. But regardless, something that I was told is that if you... That's it. So it's like the diagonal jump sort of thing. You can kind of hit them at the same time and it'll work pretty well. Now, full disclosure, it's been about a week, or a little over a week since I last played the game, so I may be a little bit rusty, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay. So we've got some climbing to do. To be expected. We're going deeper into the dark clouds. Where are we going, Madeline? We have to follow that bird. It's part of Granny, just like you're part of me. Oh, is that true? Has that always been the case? If so, that's pretty neat that it was guiding us throughout the mountain. I thought it was just your pet or something. It has to be more than that. That bird was always looking out for me on the mountain, just like Granny did. Madeline, I hate to say it, but you're in denial. It's just a bird. Just shut up and help me for once, okay? It seems the relationship has soured a little bit since we last saw. Whoa. This environment, this background is so neat. Uh, we're really high up. The mountain looks like a molehill from here. We should really turn back. We don't have time to argue about this. How are you even breathing up here? Granny wants us to follow her. We can't let her down again. It's a bird, Madeline. Granny is gone. You really think that's just a regular bird? It's part of her, and it's still here somehow. 
Maybe there's a way to bring her back. Maybe that, I don't know if that's a little too optimistic. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Full Metal Alchemist, but <laughs> I have to do something. I can't help you with this. Then leave. No, don't leave. I needed that extra dash. <laughs> don't worry, Granny. I won't lose you. Okay. So... I regain my dash with these... On these platforms. It's not like in the core. What is that in the background? Is that like a... Like, what is that up there? It looks like some weird mutation of a wiggler. Okay. Whoa. Like, look at that in the background. Like, what... What is that? Is it supposed to be some, like, bacteria? And what are those double crystals? Oh! Unsurprisingly, they give you uh, two crystals. Or two dashes. So they're teaching us, obviously, about the mechanics we're gonna need to know. Am I gonna have to know... Am I gonna have to look for strawberries here? Hmm. I don't know. All right. I think I need to utilize that momentum a little bit. That that was not effectively utilizing the momentum, but that's that's okay. We're we're warming up again. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Also, you know that narrow like gap through the electrical field or whatever that is. Um, there's that little white rectangular thing floating. That reminds me of the bandages from Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I like instinctively saw that and was like, oh, bandage. Can we uh, go back and forth up and above? No, we can't. All right, so that moves like that. So at some point I'm gonna need to, at least on the top left of the screen, dash to the left while clinging onto that so that I regain my my jumps and then when it moves back to the right I'm gonna have to jump and dash to the right. Now the question is how am I gonna get there in the first place? Oh, there's a a double dash thing there. Hmm. And I'm gonna need to move really quickly because as soon as I get there I'm gonna have to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to save my dash for when I make it onto that platform, so. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm, uh, not optimistic, but <laughs> we'll do what we can, right? I feel like that was a little bit too slow. Oh man. Hmm. What if I were to do this? Oh, that's that's too much. Oh man, I shouldn't hold to the right there. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I can use the momentum for when I dash, if I were to like dash to the right, for example, while clinging on that top right platform, it'll fling me to the left, and if I time it just right, I'll land on that thing, but wow. That seems like it would be a really tight timing, but that may be, in the, that may be the intended route, so we'll give it a go. Man, that that little gap. Is surprisingly giving me difficulty. That's a better way of going about it. When I get that upward momentum. Darn. I well, I didn't even really give it a proper attempt there. That's how it's done. Okay. Onward. 
now we got, oh, apparently we've got quite the room to look at, so let's take a look. First off, we've got a double jump crystal, and then, oh, I should also mention, I, I don't have the expectation of completing this chapter in one sitting. I, I've been told it's the longest chapter, and I will probably need to split up into multiple episodes, and I guess you guys should probably have the same expectation. Um, so double jump crystal, bounce. Okay, bounce, and then probably cling, jump over, bounce, drop down, bounce, cling, jump, and then probably dash, bounce, bounce, oh, no, I need both of my dashes, ah, I see, I see, alright. Let's let's give this a go then. Oh. That's uh <laughs> not what I foresaw. Not that I really foresaw anything, but Darn. Okay. I foresaw something different than what's actually relevant, so Oh no. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I almost placed it correctly. We're getting there. Oh no! I'm trying to build good stamina habits. Where it's like, if I don't need to move while I'm clinging onto something, I, I won't. No! Oh man, almost. Give a little bit too much there. There we go! Come on! Yay, we made it. Man, the background of this is so surreal. It's very it's very much quite cool. Look at the background, it's even responding. That's not... Those things like hide away as soon as I get over there. Alright, so let's plan out what we want to do here. I can already see one of those keys that we're going to need to move a door. Um, so we can bounce here. Probably climb onto that. Jump over on the other side. Actually... Just out of curiosity. Okay, it does replenish our jumps like it did, or dashes like before. So I can uh, bounce off of that, dash over, bounce onto that, and then, hmm. The real question will be, ah, I see, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to hit the springs up there, then the rock will fall, and then I'm gonna need to fall to get the key and bounce off of them again. Let's give it a go. Yep. <laughs> yep. How cool is that? Fall! Oh no! <laughs> Almost. So the timing there is going to be very tight. Oh man. That's uh... That's not going to work unfortunately. So how... Are we going to do that? <sighs> I think I need to really time my jump, and right now I'm playing it a little bit too safe by, yeah, I figured, by trying to go up a little bit there, and I think I really need to go straight across, but I need to be careful about where I land afterwards, obviously. No! Don't fall that far down, Madeline! Almost. What if... I'm gonna try something different. Oh. <laughs> How funny is that? I'm pretty sure I actually had the, uh, what's it called? The placement there to not hit the spring. And then I moved into the spring to try the other thing I had in mind and ended up meeting my, my end. Wait, what? That was not the plan, Madeline. That was not the plan either. <laughs> huh? Why does it keep going up? It's gotta be something with how I'm like rotating the D-pad. Alright. Over. Oh man.
Yeah, I'm sure it's something to do with the whole, like, hitting left and then kind of rotating to the right. I'm sure up is getting caught up in there. What are you? Huh? Oh my. Can I jump on you? I can. Are you gonna float back up here or what? Oh, but I, I get my dash back if I bounce off of you. That's helpful. Um, am I gonna... Whoa, why did that one explode? Um, excuse me, I need you to come back up. Yeah, I'm gonna... Huh. This is gonna be... This is gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna have to utilize the explosion in the lower right, but... That's how you do it. All right. So it's after they get hit twice, they, they kaboom, it seems. So... I'm gonna have to hit this one, it's gonna go over to the right, I'm gonna dash up right, fall onto it, kaboom, potentially. Let's see where it goes. There we go. I hope I'm not supposed to be looking for strawberries, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Um, okay. Ooh, I should not have. What's it called? Oh! Holy cow! <laughs> that worked! That worked. Did the explosion activate the key there? I don't think I actually touched it. Weird. Weird. Hmm. I thought that would blow up if I dashed into it. Oh, I should have... Darn. Okay. Okay. We're learning some mechanics. I'm down. Now I've got another... Oh, boy. We got a fall segment. However, I think what's particularly interesting is that I'm clearly going to have to come back up. So it's going to be a, a controlled fall with a climb. And you can also see the, the sections on the right side of the wall there where I'm expected to climb, and where I'm obviously going to have to save one of my dashes. So I think what I'm going to have to do is fall on the, the we'll call you puffer fishes. Fish. Wow. <laughs> Fishes. Um, puffer fish, for now. And I'm going to jump on you, dash to the left, or I'll jump off of you to the left, then dash to the left, grab the key, wall jump over, fall, boing, and then explode. To the right, grab the wall there, dash up, and then jump, jump, and then jump on the puffer fish, which is hopefully respawned, and then up. I think that's the plan. Well, that did not go according to plan, but I'm pretty sure that's the right idea. I think I just need to dash on top of the, uh, the puffer fish when it's down there. So. Oops. Well, that did not work as planned. Why didn't it go kaboom? Maybe I need to just space that better? Maybe it's not supposed to go kaboom? Yet, for some reason it kabooms if I don't dash over it. 
Am I just not, like, getting close enough to it or something, or...? Ah, I think it's a, a time thing. Oh, why did I dash there? Yeah, I think I just need to spend enough time around it. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, I just need to make sure I dash so I'm on the right side of it. And then I should be good. Cool, off we go. So that really teaches you that it is time-based more than, like, I guess number of hits-based, which is important. Also, why is that spring there? Interesting. Okay. I did not expect that to blow up as quickly as it did. But uh, I guess that's fine by me. Come on! Oh, almost. That was like really close to falling there. Okay, so, ooh, wow. Um, so there's a lot of downward space and rightward space to travel. There's the end, clearly. Wow, I just love the level design here. Uh, both, you know, from like a gameplay standpoint, but also just how beautiful it is. Um, so we're gonna have to eventually make our way here and we're gonna get our dash back there. And we'll dash up. How do we get over there though? I obviously can't get through there, but the puffer fish can. There's only one of them. So I'm gonna have to guide the puffer fish down there. Interesting. So I jump on this, and then that'll push it right here. Then I'll jump on it again, and then it'll boing there, over here. And then I'll jump on it again. And then I'll jump on it again here. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Not sure how that's gonna work exactly, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, because it eventually needs to make its way down there where it'll boing, boing, boing all the way over here. And I need to jump on it here and then get into this dash and then dash over this so that I land on it. When it's here, it goes kaboom and then I land on the wall and can do that. But I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, I, th I think we'll have to see how the puffer fish reacts. I can at least afford to... Um, take my time there. Okay, so it's become a lot more clear already. Oh, uh, wait, that was not um, what I should be doing at that point. So, that's at least good. Oh, man. I don't need to do a full jump there, so I don't know why I keep hitting full jump. Oh. Okay, maybe I, maybe I do want to full jump there and I should just get good. <laughs> oh man, I think I see what I need to do. I need to jump on it after dashing from the left of it. Oh, really? I guess, yeah, if you wait long enough that you are basically hitting it from its side, that means you're probably, yeah. Um, if you basically approach it from the side, you've already spent too much time around it, and that means it's going to explode. Which is why these approaches from up top have not triggered it. Yeah, there we go. Wow, we've got quite the uh, electric maze here. So I'm clearly gonna have to dash up onto this wall here, jump off, get my, my double dash, dash up and then to the right and then right and then upright, fall on that crystal, dash to the right, climb the wall, fall down, recling the wall at that double crystal, 
dash left, up, left, fall a little bit, dash left, and then dash right, then right again, then get that crystal, then right again. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I didn't follow my own instructions. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Ooh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I'd already overdone it actually. It's good to know that that was still a viable run. Oof, cutting it pretty close there, but we made it. And we got ourselves another checkpoint. How lovely. Alright, so there's obviously a lot going on over there. We'll see what's going on up here. Hmm. I'm very intrigued by this little segment. Carry, hold LT. Oh. Can I dash with it? No, I can't. And I can throw it but that's not very helpful. All right, well, here we go, guys. This is pretty cool. Okay, so it's okay if the jellyfish thing... I'm, I wanna know if there's a secret down there. I really wanna know. I don't think there is, though. Let me know if there's a secret down there, then I'm going to regret not seeing. Oh, Alright. It's good to know that the jellyfish itself can make, can be in the electric clouds without dying. So it's really only if Madeline is there. Um, Alright, well, we'll jump. See what we can do. Ah, I see. Oh, I can wall jump while still holding it. That's pretty cool. Um... But I need to throw it at that point. I think that was the uh, the message there. Whoa! <laughs> Got a little bit uh, ahead of myself, it seems. This should be good. Okay. Here we go! Am I gonna need it for the next screen or what? Oh. Can I grab it while I'm in the air? Probably. And... Importantly, I maintain some of my momentum from a dash before grabbing it as well, which is pretty important. Okay, bird looking pretty birdie. Showing me the way. I guess we'll, we'll go. All right. What do we have going on here? Man, these levels are super cool, um, and I appreciate the mechanics. Um, looks like we have to go up, and yeah, we're gonna use some momentum from we get this, boing up, boing up, let go, aw oh, man, hmm, am I gonna have to do the thing where I let go and then re-grab it again in the air to really utilize my momentum? Oh, I'm so close without it but not close enough. Oh, and it doesn't reset either. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, nope, that's, that's not gonna work. I think I just need to let go earlier on. There we go. Whoa, all the way up there. What's over on the right there? Wow. All these locks. Okay, so I'm clearly gonna have a lot to do before I make my way up there. I'm really curious as to what that lock thing was. Okay, so I can't really make much use of this area at the moment. Nor can I really... Oh wait, that looks like it might be breakable. No. 
was not breakable, guys. It's alright, we can go up here. Oh, we can go up here, is what I said. We can get up here. And I guess, I mean, we can bounce up there, make our way up here. But there's no way we're getting up there. Without some, I don't know, some serious shenanigans I'm just not aware of, so. Alright, well, let's explore this side. How do I get rid of this? Oh! That's pretty neat. So, I think the idea is that I need to bounce the jellyfish thing through this little maze. Yeah, but I don't see how to even access a lot of these. So... Know what I mean? Because I've obviously got to get up there. If I want to get down there to unlock that and to get that jellyfish thing. There's also a path off to the left there. I don't see how I get to that. Let's see over on this side. So there's a path to the lower right. But again, I can't really... get up there. Do I need to just time when it's like all electrical? Is that something I've just been grossly unaware of? Let's see. Okay. I don't think it's something I've just been grossly unaware of. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I need to be doing then, admittedly. I can probably like make it over there if I do one of those crouch jumps. But, but from here, that doesn't really help me out much. You know? And again, I'm trying to think just like, where can I even access right now, right? So let's start over here. And I obviously can't go in the electric field. Is there any way I can access that? I'll, I'll try grabbing that again. But otherwise, I may be able to dash my way through there? Maybe? I'll have to give that a go. That might be my only lead, because I don't see myself getting up there. I don't see myself going up there. Can't go up there. And that's all blocked off for now. So, I think that's really my only, my only shot. Let's see here, just to be safe. Can I pick it up? Can I pick it up? Ah. Oh. I got really close there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a no. I can't pick it up. Hmm. And it looked like the the dash jump was a little bit too much there as well. What about up here? Anything I can do up here? No, I just surveyed the area, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can do here either. What if, and all I can think of is if I were to like, land on that edge there, and then wall jump off, and dash. It's literally the only thing I can think of that'll get me over there. otherwise I don't see anywhere to go so I'll I'll try this a little bit only a little bit because it really doesn't seem very fruitful even like interesting 
very interesting. That was really close, you guys. Definitely closer than if I did that. So maybe I can utilize my momentum in some way. Oh, that was that was it. I just had to place it correctly. Interesting. I feel like like a, some sort of scientist. Interesting finding. Okay. Let's see here. Get it just right. Hmm. But yeah, I'm fairly confident now, at least, that this is the way to go. So that's progress in and of itself, right? I think that was the right angle, just not the correct starting point. I'm still obviously having a difficult time performing the, the crouch jump. in the first place. So that's not helping. I wish there was a shortcut for it. Was it really the the short or like the the crouch jump I did? That got me over there? I feel like it was. Yeah, it totally was. I just like need to not press the jump button at all. Okay, we have made it over onto the other side. We've made it up. What's up here? So, we're, I think we're gonna come back down. Oh, and we're gonna have to use this thing that we get here. Huh, is there any way for me to actually get over there? Maybe I'll have to come back. Because, like, what happens if I do this? Nothing very useful. That's not what I wanted to do, but... I guess, uh... Is it gonna come back? It is! Oh, no! Hmm. But, regardless... Pretty sure I just need to take this with me, and I'll be on my merry way. Alright, I think I need to jump off of this platform. So here we go, over. Fairly confident I needed to uh, do that a little bit differently, but who is texting me at this hour of the day? Um. Yeah, I feel like we're supposed to utilize. I mean, I'll bring this down now. I probably should have uh, jumped up there with that. And will probably regret not having done so now. But that's okay, I guess. Because we will make our way up this way. No, come back. Oh, whoa. That was really weird. <laughs> Please tell me that's still... Okay, it is. Well, while I'm at it. I want to take a look again to see what could have happened should I have moved that thing. Where would the... Where would, like, the jellyfish have gone? If I threw it that way, maybe, and it bounced up? And then, what, maybe to like the right? Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would have proven too helpful. So I don't think I missed out on too much by not exploring that. Okay. Now I don't really know where I want to go with this just yet. Ah, actually I do.
Huh. I think that's what I want to do, is like dash upwards while holding it. Oh, and then that's a fuse box and it's gonna get rid of all the electricity. Oh, I see it now. That's pretty cool. Okay. No! Oh, what? <laughs> I went flying, and that's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. Through probably a lot of trial and error. Alright, up we go. Um, is it possible to, like, quick re-grab? I bet I could. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to happen. But that's all right, I guess. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, man, not quite. And boing. I'm gonna try it again. Sorry, at the very least, no, it's not coming back. No, emergency. do something like along those lines or I throw it off of some wall that's right I can still wall jump while I do this that's really useful information and I had totally forgotten about it but look at how much of a difference it's already making um anyways maybe need to approach from the right side? I actually think that might be more feasible at the moment. Let's try it. Because I've got an idea. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. Bounce. Oh, no! No! Okay. I wanted to get over there a little bit more quickly, but that's okay. Ah. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I can start to throw it that way. And then dash over there in time, get my dash back, obviously, so I can dash upwards and re-grab it there. I think that'll work. Though I'm not sure. Hmm. I think it'll work. Once I get my dashes correct. <laughs> That was definitely a lot more human error than uh, reflective of the the plan itself. All right, here we go. Darn. <laughs> I'll probably give this some more tries, but I don't think I'll be playing that much longer, as it is getting relatively late. Oh no! Now we wait for it to fall and try it again in a moment. I'm fairly confident I'm supposed to, uh, hmm. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. Well, that was not the idea, more, more improvising, but my idea was that if I let go at the right time, that, hmm stealthily re-grabs it, it might bounce in that little corridor-like area. Like that. But, um, obviously it didn't work out as planned. Let's see. Bounce back? No! You're supposed to bounce back! Bounce back! No! Hmm. 
from here. Okay. Bounce back. No. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, bounce back. No, it didn't make it. What even did I just do? No. Ah. <sighs> Almost. Almost. Hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be tough for sure. I'm thinking, like, what if I, like, wall jumped off of this, you know? But I definitely gotta get up there. There's no doubt about that. And I definitely need to utilize upward momentum there if I want to make it through. There's also no doubt about that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna try something a little bit simpler. Darn. Thought I might be able to speed under it. Honestly, I probably can. That's what I wanna focus on trying for the time being. Alright, we'll we'll jump over here. Ah, oh, almost. Well, that's the closest we've come so far. So, I guess that in and of itself is um, cool. <laughs> Somewhat rewarding. We'll try it again. I feel like that's going to be too low, though. I feel like I'm going to have to get more creative with how I go about it. Even more creative. Like... Hmm... Wow, that's not very helpful. How can I do this? I'm fairly confident the expected route is to go up this way. Hmm. I don't know. Almost had a very stealthy recovery there. some sort of wall jump or or what maybe hmm I'll try doing that just maybe I don't even need to actually be that fancy I can just glide over there and then let go and dash that's definitely not true momentum I would have if I grabbed on after, you know, landing on a spring. Let's try that, at least, just to satisfy my my curiosity. Okay. Not a whole lot, admittedly, but, you know. That was, that was quite a bit of a
That was quite a bit of momentum. I think that's gotta be it, or, or something. <laughs> it's gotta be something around, you know, dashing up into the jellyfish there. It's killing me that I'm not able to, to get it yet. Because look at how much that covers. I, I, I bet I need to throw it up there so it's bouncing around in there. Ah, but that's not it. What if... No. No, no. <laughs> um... I mean, that's one way to get one bounce in there. Wow, that took me way up. I'm spending more time on this than I should. <laughs> I'm spending more time on this than I should. I need to go to sleep. this. I think I need to really like let go at the peak of that jump there. It'll bounce back off that wall immediately. And then I need to dash up. And that'll take me up there. Darn. I don't think I was high enough up. But I think, I mean, I thought a lot of things would work up until this point, but I think that's going to be it, guys. I think, I think this will do the trick. No! Ah, oh, come on. No! Because I've gotten it to bounce around in there before, but I think I just need to really be at the peak of my my jump after like a maximum height bounce. It's not ideal um, because it's not, you know, bouncing around within that corridor or that little narrow area. But it might be. Well, let, let's see if it works at least, because <laughs> I'd rather try something that I think will work. No, <laughs> I mess it up. Whoa! How did that give me that one time? It felt like I didn't get much distance at all. But some of these, they seem like you know, I'm getting quite a bit of distance out of it. Let's try it, let's try it. What? No! It's not the way you're supposed to go. Okay. What? No! Don't... <laughs> Don't miss. What? Come on. Why am I not? Seriously? Seriously? I'm finally getting the grab and then I'm off by a little bit there. Alright, I... Uh, I hate stopping in the middle of a challenge. It's so close! So close. That's totally all I need to do. I think I just need to time it a little bit better 
so that the jellyfish is a bit higher up. Let's see here. What? <sighs> Come on. So obviously it's going to be higher up if it's closer to the left. But obviously I can't be too far to the left because of the spikes. There we go! There we go! What is this? Screw you, fuses! <laughs> Screw you! Oh. And we can finally float in peace. Alright. I think... I think for now... Well, that's not really what I wanted to, to happen with that, but for the time being, we'll we'll chill over here. Stay there, jellyfish. Okay. And I think that's going to be a good point to to save and quit because I need some sleep, and I'm sure you guys got tired of that challenge. But so far, first impressions of Chapter Nine, super cool. Loving the story. Surprisingly dark twist. Um, really cool level design. Really cool challenges. Really cool puzzle solving. Love the aesthetic. Uh, big fan so far, and I know there's plenty more to come. So, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>